the Nissan Laurel. Hello guys, welcome to another video. We got a great vehicle here today. I don't know, I'm so mad about that. <laughs> um, I, I don't know where that intro is going, but here we have the Nissan Laurel. Now, I still can't believe that this is a Hot Wheel. You know, what was this, 2017 this came out? I have never, uh, yeah, I'm a Japanese car guy, and it was 2017, 2018, I forget. Uh, 2018. I said 2017 on the base. So I'd say 2018. 2017 is when I really started getting into cars. And that's when the channel started. So I really still wasn't... I didn't have as much knowledge as I did back then as I do now. That being said, I didn't know what the Nissan Laurel was back then. I'm happy I bought it. Because if I didn't buy this, I'd be kicking myself all day. And I bought the, the C10 Skyline too. Which I've never heard of the C10 Skyline until Hot Wheels. And I bought that one. As I'm pointing to it and you guys can't see. But it's over there. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> but yeah, I love the Laurel. Now that I know what it is. I appreciate Hot Wheels for introducing it to me. And now I got this Golf one. Now the Golf one doesn't hold as high of a standard as this the first edition. I love the first edition. But the Golf one is still pretty cool. And I and it was still pretty hard to find because I bought this for seven dollars on the aftermarket. I think it was seven fifty. Yeah, the back says seven fifty. There's the other models in the set. I totally forgot about this set. I don't even remember the Laurel. Uh, I don't like the the McLaren was just a different color and it looked weird. And we got a better McLaren now. The McLaren GTR. I didn't like it. I don't like that casting. I like the stock one better. And I've gone over that one. I've gone over the stock one, but. Let's pull this out of the package. It's been in here for a while. I think since 2019. It's about time. I'll try and do a lot more premium unboxings. And not just Hot Wheels. I, ju I just have a lot of it. But I want other brands too. I got some... Oh, I did a lot of my Johnny Lightnings. What else do I got? Oh, green light. I have a lot of green lights I can do. Of course, I got Tomica. At this point, Tomica is a premium brand to me. A Tomica Basic. Oh. Uh, I've got I've got a couple brands that are new to me. Uh, not new to me. I've seen them before on the internet and stuff, but this is the first time I've actually owned some. And I know I showed twice diecast. Twice diecast got a sneak peek because he's Mr. Premio. Pre Premio. Primo. So he says he was proud of me. I feel accomplished. Now they've been. Ow! I just stabbed myself. Jeez. They've been on my radar for a long time, and the price was right, and I just had to, just had to buy them. Well, that's how it works. Luckily, this knife is not very sharp, so it may cut the packaging, but it doesn't cut me. So I just poke myself. But let's look at this in Laurel. It's been in that package way too long. It smells kind of good too. It's not even white. The white cars smell good. I know there's a lot of people that sit there and sniffing them. Like, I can already smell them when they come out of the package. I don't even need to sniff them. But fresh die cast. On the Laurel, it doesn't look too bad. The, the graphic is pretty tamed. It's nothing crazy. Still got front details, which they probably just used the same piece, really. Look, at I don't even think... Oh, well, they actually put a little more detail in the headlight there. Like that black strip. Kind of looks better. Chrome bumper. And actually, yeah, the bumpers are a separate piece. I forgot about that. Well, I think they're connected to the rear. Yeah, the rear bumper. Oh, lack of bumper. It is a bumper, but it, it, the tail lights are actually in the bumper, which is weird. Is that why they call it a pig butt? The way the trunk comes down. Laurel. Golf. A lot of people go head over heels for these golf liveries. And they're they're okay. 
They're okay. I think they work more with muscle cars. That's what they... It's one of these brands. They gotta stick... Keep Golf on the muscle cars and keep Falcon on the JDM. I don't like them crossing them like that because then it gets weird. This one's tame, but still, I don't think Golf works on it. We got number four on the door. I like that, though. Orange tri-spokes. Uh, no, those are four spokes. There's your tail lights again. Laurel. SXG. Or SGX. The badging it kind of looks off centered, yeah. It is. Oops, yellow base is a bit or orange base is a bit much. I'm not sure what they were thinking on that. I would have just preferred a bare metal base, and the orange wheels also doesn't help. I like that at least they put the chrome lip on them. But yeah, there's your Laurel, and yeah, it's pretty clean for what it is. So, but there are better ones out there. The Team Transporter one is good. The Diorama one is good. And eventually, I will be opening those ones sometime. I don't know when. Uh, I never got the Dollar General one. It's not really clean. But I still like it, and I still wanted it. But... It'll have to be for another day because there's no way I'm finding that now. And I, I've got other things on my plate that I want to buy anyway. So I've already got a ton of laurels. So I can let the, the Dollar General one go for now. But if it comes up for the right price, you know, I'm not I'm not passing that one. But there you go, guys. There's the laurel. What do you guys think? Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.